Okay, so we're back for another lesson today. Uh, we're going to start with doing this problem, 25% of 45, which was, uh, we've talked about percentages of a number the last time. It's a part or an amount of an object. All right, we remembered of means multiplication. So let's start there. Of multiplication, percent to decimal, two places to the left. So 0.25 times multiply by 45. All right, now we do the math. 45 times 0.25. Two decimal places will be in my product. 5 times 5 is 25. 20 plus 2, and 0, 10, 8, 9, 5, 2, 11. Two decimal places. So this would be 11. Point 25. Just a quick review again. Percentages of something is the amount, or of an object, amount, or of an object, or of money. And percentage, we put the decimal of means multiply. So what are we doing today? We're going to talk about squares and square roots. Squares. You see this little exponent of two. Square root. You'll see this. Like looks like division, but it starts with like a V. All right. That means square roots. Well, let's talk about what is squares. All right. Well, the area of a square, we remember an area of a square equals side squared. And this is the idea. The area of a square is the product of the side by itself. So here's a little square up here that has three this way, three this way. So that's three times three. And here's three squared. 3 is going to be your base number. 2 is an exponent. That's not 3 times 2. That means I have 3. I have two threes. This right here is written 3 times 3. And we know 3 times 3 gives us 9. So again, the area of a square is the product of the side by itself. The 3 in this case would be the base. And 2 is the exponent. So, what does this mean? What is the square root? Well, it is the opposite of squaring. Uh, when you do your multiplications and you have 1 times 1, that's 1. But then you have 2 times 2, 4. We are squaring the number. 3 times 3, 9. 4 times 4, 16. 5 times 5, 25. 6 times 6, 36, 7 times 7, 49, 8 times 8, 64, 9 times 9, 81, 11 times 11, 121, and 12 times 12, 144. So that's the idea of the number times itself. That's that number squared. All right, so let's do some practicing. Okay, so if I had 1 as my base and I wanted to square it, that means 1 times 1. So the value of 1 squared equals 1. All right, what if I have 7 squared? This means I have two sevens, 7 times 7. This is the setup, and then I solve it is 49. All right, what if I have 4 squared? That means I have 4 times 4 gives me 16. That's why multiplication, it's important to know your doubles. Okay, those are squared. 1 times 1 again is 1. 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 4 is 16. 5 times 5 is 25. 6 times 6 is 36. 7 times 7 is 49, and so on. Know your doubles. Know your squares. Okay, that's another way of saying, hey, I know my squares. All right, now let's try the opposite. Again, the square root simply means the opposite. What times what equals this number? So if I put the square root of 81, what number times what number, the same number equals 81? Well, again, you know your squares, your multiplication. You're right. So 9 times 9 equals 81. So the square root of 81 is 9. 9 would be your base. 
All right, let's look at the square root of 144. What number times the same number equals 144? Right, so this is 12 times 12, so the square root is 12. What would be the square root of 1? A lot of people kind of think, oh, that's so easy, but then it's the most easiest one that a lot of people mess up because they're just, oh, that's just easy. But we know anything times 1 is 1, all right? So the square root of 1 is 1 because 1 times 1 is going to give me 1. All right, let's try the square root of 4. Square root of 4 is two because two times two equals four. So two would be my base. So that four, therefore it's the square root. So just a quick lesson on squares and square roots. Again, if you have six as a base and you square it, that is 36 because six times six. If you have eight squared, 64, that's eight times eight. A square root of 25 would be five. Remember, squares are the number times itself. Square roots are the opposite, finding, finding that number times itself. All right, again, just a quick lesson, squares and square roots. Have a great day.